Hey guys, welcome back to Elden Ring. Today is a very important video because we will be doing White Mask Vare's questline and we will be unlocking the best farming spot in the game, namely Mogwin Palace. So let's do that. So, uh, why is Vare's still here? That's a problem. Oh, well done. You best my congrats now for an audience. All right, so yeah. So uh, basically you need to kill Godric, that's the first step. And then you need to go to Roundtable Hold. And once you kill Godric, uh, the doors to the two fingers will open, which are these ones. And you just need to go uh, interact with them. Touch the two fingers, Rapture, good. Then you need to go back to the first step, which is here. And Vare will be gone, I'm pretty sure. Probably, and we will see. Yes. Oh no, he's still here. Well, that's weird. Go to the round for an audience. With... Well, I did. I did do that. Can I just rest? No. Okay, so let's go back to round table and maybe touch the two fingers again or rest at the round table uh, site of grace. I don't know what the fuck he wants, but let's try that again. Well, okay, we did that. Let's talk to her. Maybe, uh... Yeah, okay, so they need to move, I suppose. So you need to talk to... To this lady as well. Whatever. Alright. So they've done that, I suppose. Okay, cool. Let's also... This is a mess already, but... Let's rest at the table. Good. Okay... Since we're here, we might as well go and talk to this guy, the... What is his name, dude? Is he here? No, okay. He's probably over here. Yes, because we haven't talked to him as well at all. Gideon, his name is. Okay, and now we rest. Good. And he's gone. And now we need to go. This isn't for uh, Vare's quest, but it is for Nefeli's quest. So we might as well uh, might as well do it. There's Nefeli over there. Let's talk to this guy. Gideon Ofnir. Yes, I uh, I forgot that uh, his name. All right. Okay, we don't need to talk to him right now. Let's talk to Nefeli and she will give us the, the charm. Arsenal charm, good. I have talked to him, okay. I'll see you again. I'll see you again, alright, good. Good. So the quest is going along swimmingly. Uh, Nefeli's quest, that is. Hopefully, now when we return to the first step... Um, Vare will be gone. Hopefully. Yes, good. He's, uh, he's no longer here, and he left this message. Off to Lyernia with you then. Seek the Rose Church. Okay, cool. Cool. So now, now the quest begins. We must go here, at the, at the Rose Church. And there is a site of grace around here, I'm pretty sure. Um... We'll see, we'll see. Let's just go here and uh, and just go straight across um, to the west and uh, and talk to Vare. Uh, where is he? This, this way. All right. Uh, maybe we'll go that way and uh, try and find the, the closer site of Grace. Because we do need to do this a couple of times, but, you know, it's fine. But yeah, now we, we have progressed the Feli Luz quest as well. We need to go to the village of the Albinorix and uh, kill the omen there. The omen killer. Ah, yes, there is the site of grace I was uh, I was thinking of. Well, it's not the one I was thinking of, but it is a site of grace. So yeah, we need to go to the village of the Albinorix and do that bit. And then, I think we're pretty good until... Uh, the Celebes stuff. That's the thing about Nefeli's uh, questline. 
uh, it's sort of three quests into one because you you have all these characters that uh, interact with each other and it's it can get difficult to to manage but oh well let's talk to Vare. ah there you are you've had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole yes what was your impression so now you need to say they didn't seem right i think this is important uh -huh. your intuition serves you well my doubts had been piling up you see the words of the two fingers cannot be trusted truly naught but rambling senile delusions mm -hmm. i believe but when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. All right. Oh, I have a gift for you, something fit only for the wise. A string bloody finger for circumventing the draw of the two fingers give it a try won't you and if it please you may we meet again i've high hopes for you my lambkin not your lambkin dude go fuck yourself let's go in here will we get attacked i think there's a blood priest yeah the thing about these guys is uh they have no poise, so uh, they're pretty easy to, to deal with. As long as you have uh, that Zweihander, of course. If you have any other weapon, then you only have yourself to blame. Alright, so this is interesting, because he gives you... Um, Festering Bloody Fingers, which and normally what you need to do is you need to invade three people. You need to invade three times. Uh, and, uh, and then that will progress the quest, but... Uh, if you are unable to do this, because uh, a friend of mine told me that uh, uh, he plays on console and he doesn't have the the quest. What am I saying? He plays on console and he doesn't have the the subscription for uh, for online play, uh, so he can't go online and invade people. Or maybe you know you're playing on PC and uh, you don't have internet connection, or uh, you've acquired the game in a way that. Uh, does not allow you to <laughs> to play online well that's you know none of my business but you might still want to complete the quest so what you need to do is uh you need to go to the altus plateau and uh, we need to go here essentially yes here uh which come to think of it we can just go straight from uh, from here we don't have to go uh, the long way so yeah you need to go there and uh, there will be a uh, a red uh, sign that uh, that will allow you to invade an NPC essentially, and uh, and yeah, once you invade that NPC, that counts as doing three real invasions somehow, and uh, and you'll you'll be good to go. Uh, it it will progress the quest, uh, and you can obviously do this while offline. So uh, so that's good, guys. Uh, you know, even if right, even if you are technically able to. Does this kill me? Probably not. Uh, yeah, uh, even if you are able to go online and, and invade people, that does not mean you will be able to invade people, because, um, you know, if you're playing the game my way and you're doing the Grail kill at the beginning of the game, there will be a, a quite a discrepancy between your level as a player and sort of uh, your weapon level. Which means you're unlikely to invade because, yeah, normally people are a lower level or have a higher weapon level uh, than you. So, uh, yeah, it's difficult to find invasions even if you are able to. So, yeah, this is definitely a welcome change. Uh, this wasn't in the release version. This wasn't in uh, 1.0. So, uh, this is why apparently people don't know about it. But... Uh, they shall know now. I will learn them. So yeah, you need to go here. Is this the place? I think this is the place. Let's see what it's called. It needs to be blood something. 
Blood right to Blood Ruins, yes, and there's the the red summon sign, and you will invade an NPC, which is quite difficult to to beat him, but uh, not impossible, especially with the Zvi Hunter. The problem is he also has a uh, yeah, he also has a big weapon, so it's not uh, okay. Okay. Oh my God, fucking hell, dude. So yeah, as I was saying, he also has a big weapon, so uh, it's not that easy. Because, uh, yeah, you can stagger him, but he can stagger you as well, so... Uh, yeah, you need to be careful. But it's fine, because... Uh, let's see where where it uh, brings us. Okay, so it, it doesn't, uh, you know, reset you to the last grace or something. It just puts you back in here. So that's good. Uh, where is it? It's here. Yes. Good. I don't know if it if it uses the the item, the festering bloody finger, to do that, but we'll see. I need to go silent for a moment because uh, yeah, as I said, he is also good. Now my turn. Good. My turn again. Good. All right. Well, that was easy. All right. I just took that. I just took that as well. Fucking hell, dude. All right. Let's heal. Good. Okay. That was that was a bad move. Let's do this. Very nice. Very nice. Let's do this again. Good. Good. All right. So that was that uh, done. Magnus, Magnus the Beast Claw has been defeated. I've got a Rune Arc and a, a Furl Culling Finger Remedy. But most importantly, we are uh, now able to progress Vare's quest. Uh, so yeah, we got uh, the Great Stars, whatever, and the Somber Six, which is not bad. Not bad at all, because you can get a second. Uh, uh, this weapon, what is it called? The Great Stars. It's one of the few sort of non-farmable weapons that you can get two of in uh, in one uh, playthrough. Definitely, yeah, definitely special. But anyway, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we need to go back to Vare and uh, tell him we we've invaded. Where is where is it? Is it this way? It's east. It's not east, it's west. It's the it's literally the opposite of the east. So yeah. If you're not sure which way, it's the other. It's the other way. Am I right? Yeah. I am going the right way. Good. There it is, the Rose Church. The The weather conditions, uh, you know, low visibility and all that. Anyway, hi. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Yeah. Mm. I knew it from the very start. Yeah. You have a taste for noble blood. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and of course love so what do you say my lambkin obviously you need to say anoint me hmm. yes who would have it any other way now take this great for your final trial soak the cloth with a maiden's blood Normally, this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. Great. So now, what you are supposed to do is you can do this three ways. Uh, you can either go to the Weeping Peninsula and talk to the girl over here. Uh, which I saved at the beginning of the playthrough, if you remember. Her name is Irina, I'm pretty sure. So you can go kill her 
and uh, and do it that way. This is the easiest way if you don't do her quest. Uh, if you did do her quest and uh, and she's dead and you can't get her blood anymore, you have to go here at the I don't know what this is called church. There's a church, the Church of Inhibition, maybe. Anyway, you need to go here, and uh, there's a maiden here that uh, you'll be able to to take her blood. Uh, so there's that, but it's a pain in the ass to get here because you have to go all the way through here and around here, around the earth tree, and then this way, and then there's an NPC invasion here. It's a pain in the ass. It's it's a long way because there's a frenzy tower and it's a pain in the ass. Anyway, if you don't want to do that, uh, there is a way once you unlock the map on this side to go back to the uh, what is it called? This this place, the the Chapel of Anticipation, Anticipation, where you started the game, and uh, you can go back here and get the blood from the uh, from the maiden that's that's there on the floor, which is implied to be your your own maiden. Uh, so yeah, those are the three ways you can uh, you can complete this part of the quest. Uh, I saved Irina for for this quest, so I'll just go and do that. And there we are, at the Whipping Peninsula. And there is Irina. Yeah, if you do her quest, by the time uh, you come back from Castle Morn, she'll be dead. But since I didn't do her quest, I can just kill her. And she doesn't do anything, she just uh, casts Rejection. Fuck yourself. And we got Lords of Blood favor. Great. And she, uh, she picked... Uh, not she picked, she dropped her letter. Whatever, I'll pick it up and... Fucking, I don't even know if I can uh, discard it. I don't think so, because it's a key. It's a key item, isn't it? I I can leave it. I can't leave it. All right, well, there's that. So we got the Lord of Blood favor. Let's go back to to Vare and uh, and we shall finish the quest. Well, not we'll not finish the quest technically, but we will finish the the relevant or useful part of the quest which is being transported to Moglin Palace because there's technically, you know, you can continue the quest and get invaded by Vare and kill him and that ends the quest but I don't give a fuck about any of that I, I'm just interested in uh, unlocking the farming spot Hello Vare Ah my lambkin You've completed your final trial I did And with this you are a formal inductee. How exciting. Who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. All right. What is he actually doing? Oh, good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. Not sure what uh, he did, but... Bloody finger! Never forget that feeling of agony. For it is what binds you to Luminary Moog. To all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream. My lambkin. Suck my dick. All right, so now you need to talk to him again. Oh, another thing. You should have this. Pure blood knight's medal. This is what we're looking for. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog. I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait. Until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. Alright, so that's it. That's uh, that's how you do that. Uh, I like using it uh, right here. Because he said not to use it yet. So I like to use it right in front of him. Like this. How about this? Suck my dick, Vare. Alright. So this will transport us to Mogwin Palace. Uh, 
Yeah, alright, so let's go up the stairs and get the the map. And there's also a site of grace. Mogwin Palace. Very good, very good. And uh, there's a site of grace right here. Very nice. Alright, so now... We essentially need to go all the way around here and sort of up here somewhere. I can't really show you on the map, but uh, I do have the, <laughs> the muscle memory and the, the visual memory for it, so uh, I don't need the map. Uh, hold on, because we need to leave this area. Because this is technically a legacy dungeon. It's a really bad one, but... You're not allowed uh, a horse in there. But anyway, we just need to go sort of this way. And uh, just uh, grab a uh, grab item. Heal. Very good. And then uh, around here, I think. No, but you know, a rune arc is, uh, is good enough. Useful, useful. Then we need to go here. Very good. And just follow this uh, this river of blood. Essentially, this is what we need to do. The south, I guess. Yeah, it's south. So we need to go northeast and then south. And we're pretty much here. A blood road, whatever. And these are the guys we're gonna kill over and over again in order to get many, many rooms. This is the site of grace that we need. All right. So let's rest. Calm, calm down. So where is this on the map? Yeah, it's right, uh, right in the corner. Yeah. So you need to go this way, and then this way, probably. Yeah, something like that. The palace approach ledge road, site of grace. Okay. So I kept saying that this is the best farming spot. Uh, for uh, early game and mid game and uh, late game. So how can this be? How can one spot be good all the time? So there's different ways of, uh, of doing this. Firstly, in, um, in early game, you need to kill that bird. That one. You need to shoot it. Like this. With a crossbow or a bow or whatever. Quite difficult to you know, find the, the appropriate timing, but once you do, you just need to hit it once and it falls off the cliff and you get 11,000 runes for one or two bolts and it, the grace is right here. So yeah, you can just keep doing this and, uh, and you can grind very, very quickly and very efficiently. You just need to, you know, find the, find the timing to actually hit the bird. There you go. I do prefer watching the bird die, not for any sadistic reasons, but if you hit the bird and then run to the grace, there's a chance that the game will not render the bird falling and you won't get any runes. It's not a huge waste because, you know, the grace is right here, the bird is right there, but, you know, it's still a waste, so, uh, so that's not good. All right, uh, what next? For mid-game, uh, you want to kill these guys? Uh, we, I don't know if we can kill them right now. I mean, we can, but uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, they have quite a lot of health. So it's not really efficient to kill them uh, one by one like this. So uh, you need to wait until mid-game, until you have... Until you do a bit more damage so you can sort of two-shot them. And then you can just go and, uh, and kill them one by one. That's the mid-game uh, uh, level farming. And then in the late game, or I suppose you could call it post game, uh, you get a sword called the Sacred Relic Sword, which has this Ash of War that uh, has this huge AOE that goes all the way down this hill and kills every single one of these guys, uh, like that uh, Phantom is uh, is doing. So yeah, it it kills them all in one hit essentially, and uh, or in one swipe, and you get like seventy thousand runes per attack. That's insane. So yeah, this uh, this is it. We are basically now uh, rich. We have no need for runes anymore. I mean, we do have a need, but we don't have we don't have a want for runes anymore. Because whenever we need runes, we can just come here and shoot the bird, 
uh, or kill a couple of these guys and uh, we got uh, you know all the runes we, we can get look we have 28000 uh so that's so that's good that's uh, that's it uh so it's not a complicated quest you just need to kill godric and then do whatever vare tells you to do uh so it's really cool might as well level up level up uh, dex to 14 sure i guess why why not all right, so uh, what else? What else can I do? I'm not gonna record my farming sessions. Uh, you know, I'll just do this off camera and uh, you know, update you in the in the next recording on on you know what level I am or, and uh, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I, I'm not gonna record it because it's boring. It's boring as fuck. It's farming, right? It's inherently repetitive and boring. Uh, what else can we do? We advanced the Feli's quest line. Uh, what's what's the next step? I suppose the next step would be to do Liernia. So uh, yeah, we might uh, we might be doing that. Uh, but you know, we'll do that in the next episode. I, I suppose it's fair. It's fair enough because last episode was the Castle Stormvale, and uh, it was uh, you know an hour and a half. And uh, so I feel like I should balance it out with a shorter episode. That's, I don't know, I don't know how long this is, 20 minutes maybe, if that. Uh, so yeah, it's average, it averages at uh, at 30 minutes, so that's that's good. So yeah, I, I hope you found this helpful. Not really enjoyable, but it is helpful, I think. Uh, so yeah, I thank you for watching. Again, I hope you enjoy this. I wish you a great day ahead of you, and a goodbye.